Hey, my name is Josh Smith from WeFill Events, and today I'm going to be with Prosper on the Online Prosperity Show to talk about how we uh, fill events and how you can get started too with your events so that you can make your business even more successful and take that next step to accelerate your growth as an entrepreneur with your business. Look forward to having you there. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we're going to be filling you up and filling your events with Josh. How are you doing today, man? Good. Thanks, mate. How are you? Thanks for having me. Fantastic. All right. Now, as entrepreneurs and as viewers of this show, you would know that our main ethos and main purpose is to make sure that your business is profitable and enjoyable and that you are living and you're learning and you're contributing now half of the time the things that you would want to do or the things that you would um, you know do to reach out to your clients or future customers is to start speaking publicly while you're offering your value now it just doesn't become easy that you you you, you decide to be a speaker today and people just um, you know show up at your events so you're gonna have to do a few things behind the scenes and that's the reason why um, you know people like Josh are there to help you fill up your events now Josh thank you so much um, for being on our show today tell us a little bit about what you do and who you do it for yeah cool thanks mate appreciate the uh, appreciate the intro um, so really our, our purpose uh, as a company is to uh, empower ethical speakers to be able to create the difference that they're looking to uh, sort of make in the world and, and the way in which we do that is by empowering them through live events um, so as a company uh, you know technically I guess you could say that we're digital marketers um, we have been for, for a very long time um, we've just niched down heavily into the event space because um, in between everything that we used to do, which was all lead generation websites, everything you can do online, events was always always there and all, it was always a big part of our business. Um, and then when we saw that it was the, uh, the, probably the biggest part of our business and the biggest side of our business that allowed us to create the, uh, the most significant impact, uh, we really dialed into that. To, to scale that element to it because um, it, it gave the most, it created the most uh, change that we wanted to be creating. Uh, so we, uh, we, we dialed in on it and, and went really hard and, and I moved to London to do that. Um, and and it's, been, it's been a good journey to this point. Um, events are you know, really significant for, you know, not just, you know, quote unquote speakers as such, um, for entrepreneurs as, as, in general, uh, there's nothing like getting up on stage, not even on stage. I mean, you can get in front of a boardroom of five, 10 people, uh, and the kind of impact and uh, growth that you can achieve by speaking to small groups, large groups is, is just unparalleled to what you can achieve by going out there and doing the, you know, the coffee meetings and the chit chats and all that kind of stuff. Um, events is really the place where entrepreneurs go to you know, truly accelerate and, and we're, we're a key part of that process and um, it's a huge privilege and we're, we're really tied to our mission. Thank you so much. Now, obviously you would have figured out, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, you got to fill a need or solve a problem. What mm -hmm. kind of problems were your prospects going through that, um, you know, required that you, um, you know, start your business? Totally. Well, I mean, if you if you speak to almost any speaker, and it doesn't matter what size they are, whether they're starting out or if they're veterans, um, they will all tell you that at some point or another, they struggle somewhere, somehow to fill their events. Um, because traditionally, uh, you know, speakers, they, they rely on having access to lists, having access to promotional partners, affiliates, um, all that kind of stuff, which, which absolutely does work. But at some point, it can be difficult to scale that outside of the region or your locality that you're in. Um, so when we come in and we use digital marketing to allow speakers to scale out into any region they want, literally any city they want around the planet, um, it's created a, a very big problem solver um, that, you know, to be frank, not a lot of people have done in our space using digital marketing specifically to, um, to convert cold leads into, or cold traffic, I should say, into event leads. Uh, so we, we got very good at that. Uh, within our within our core business, like I mentioned, and um, and we just scaled that and and really dialed our our niche in digital marketing into a real super niche using digital marketing by way of of filling events specifically. So uh, so yeah, it's that problem uh, that we were solving was really the filling event. <laughs> we fill events, filling the events um, 
for our clients, which uh, you know a lot of them really struggle to, especially in, in regions which they don't have a, a big brand following as such. Understandable. So is this any entrepreneur who just decides, okay, I think I've got a message or I think I've got something to sell. Let me just reach out to, um, you know, Josh and team, uh, or do you have a specific criteria that you go through? Yeah, great question. Um, we, we do have a specific criteria and, and a lot of it does depend on where you sit currently as a speaker. I mean, because our done for you service where we bring on speakers and essentially almost do everything for them is a very robust, very in-depth service. And a lot of it requires the speaker to be on par, uh, on a performance level in terms of, of how their business is geared around the events. If they can truly monetize their process, if they understand the business, um, uh, wholly in order to be able to to make it work because there's so many moving pieces on the on the front end and then the back end that if you were to come in and bring a company like us on board to propel all the, the lead gen side of it and to actually fill the events and make it go you have to be able to ensure that on the front end you can do your your piece when it comes to delivering the event so with our service we're very very specific on who we work with on the done for you front so we do a lot of discovery around that process and make sure that if we're bringing a client on um, you know, we're committing to them because we believe that we are the next logical step for them in taking their sort of uh, their mission to that next level. Um, so we are very careful in who we take on in the done for you side because it's uh, very bandwidth heavy, resource heavy service. Um, however, that said, we, we've we built out more and more into the education space around the event side and the speaking industry and building a business and the marketing um, side to events in sort of the last six to eight months because We've seen that for all the people that we weren't able to help directly with our done for you service, there was this big gap that we were leaving in that education space where speakers or even just entrepreneurs who were looking to bolt on say one event a month for maximum 10 people and fill it, you know, the, the old and hard way of doing a bit of networking, getting someone to send an email, building a little email list of their own, all that kind of thing. We realized that we had so much IP or intellectual property around that, um, that we needed to be productizing that in different ways. And we've started building out more and more trainings that are going around our business, um, doing more joint ventures with other uh, organizations in similar spaces who are training co um, speakers to be able to get out there more and, uh, and just using what you know, a lot of experience has given us to teach entrepreneurs how to get to that stage where they can truly scale and, and look at um, you know, working directly with people like us who can get in there, really do the heavy lifting and, and let the speaker be the entrepreneur behind the business and focus on all the other stuff and not worry about the marketing side. Um, so we're very, we're very sort of strict on who we take on and, and, and sort of when. Understandable. Thank you so much for, for that, um, input there. You did mention a little bit earlier on that when you've taken on somebody, you've got, um, a three step process. Is it that you, you let them go through? Can you just elaborate on, you know, the, 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 the steps that you actually help to fill these events? Yeah, for sure. Um, so at the, the highest level without going into sort of the real nitty gritty details of it, there are essentially three simple, three simple steps. Uh, that's the marketer and me wanting to, to put a <laughs> action word around it like that. Um, and basically uh, it comes down to three things and it's essentially, uh, advertising campaigns, uh, landing pages and a good retention system. So when we come on and we engage and we drive campaigns, 99% uh, of the time it'll be through uh, cold traffic advertising. Take Facebook for an example. And we'll use uh, sort of all our methods and strategies in that space to drive traffic through um, very carefully constructed landing pages that we've literally spent tens of millions of dollars through. And in that process crafted to the point where we have you know, pages converting at 20 to 30% on cold traffic um, to, a, to a live event offer, which is um, pretty significant. Uh, and then from that getting leads into um, well-structured digital campaigns where they're getting um, touch points via email, SMS, even telesales um, to really maximize that process, build good rapport with the brand itself for the lead coming in and, and getting to learn the speaker before the event. Um, and that in a nutshell is the, is the three-step process that we sort of implement for our clients when we do take them on and we start doing tours with them and helping them scale. Understandable. Thank you so much. So obviously you did mention your speaker has to be on board. 
and um, you know has to work with 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 um, with you guys behind the scenes. Um, mm-hmm. Is there anything that the speaker has to do to actually engage the audience, or do they just rock up after you guys have worked behind the scenes? Uh, good question. So, what the speaker has to worry about is, of course. Um, doing their part on stage. That's the thing that we <laughs> can't do for them. Um, and, you know, we're, we're literally promoting events in all corners of the world and there's not too many of us on the team, so we can't be there for them on the day in most cases. Sometimes we, we do get the opportunity to be there. Um, but on the speaker side, yeah, they've really got to be um, tuned into their performance levels. They've got to know what they're doing, how they're doing it. They have to have a, a well-structured um, sales process for their events. And I don't mean you know, being one of those speakers and we've all seen them that, you know, tell you to rush to the back of the room, get your credit card out and pay for this, that, and the other. And, um, sadly, a lot of times it's, it's, there's not a lot of substance in that. Um, but there's still good ethical ways to sell through your events and to introduce people to your products and services and programs, um, that filter then off of those, uh, events themselves. So, yeah, we, we do make, uh, we do take a lot of care to make sure that, uh, the clients that we do obviously engage with, uh, engage with, um, they do have a good process for a, the performance side, B, they've got a good ascension model, business model around their events. Um, and that on top of that, they've done, they have previous experience and they know what their metrics are. So they know what data they tend to generate from their events in terms of leads to sales and what that sort of turns into on a, on a longer term sort of scale. Um, so yes, yeah, so those are all sort of metrics that we do look at. And uh, if, if they're not quite there yet, we, we offer coaching and consulting where we can um, or refer them on to other people who can help them get certain ducks in a row before they you know really go out and um, burn the boats and take the island as, as we sort of say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Right. So somebody will be watching right now and you know, they've been training, you know, waiting outside the, 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 you know, waiting outside and getting ready to become a speaker. And now they just really need an audience, you know, um, how can people get a hold of you so that, you know, you, you can maybe consult with them and figure out mm-hmm. if they're perfect fit and, um, you know, they can get started on their speaking journey. Yeah, cool. The easiest way is to um, to simply go to wefillevents.com, uh, which is where you can go to learn about us um, and, and see who we are as people. Um, technically, we're event promoters um, masquerading as digital marketers or the other way around. I think they both work. Um, but the truth is that we, you know, we're, we're pretty tightly knit team of people who genuinely care about events because, you know, we know the difference they can make in people's lives when, um, you know, when we go to the right kind of events, engage with the right kind of speakers and the people that come to those events and what comes off of it. Um, so go to the website, see who we are as people, see what our mission is, um, learn a bit about our process, like you said, which is up there. Um, and then from there, there's, there's a, a simple form at the, at the bottom where if you, if you want to have a conversation with us, just fill it out. Um, and, uh, and one of us will be with you pretty soon to you know see how we can best serve you and um either have a conversation or point you in the right direction of of someone else who could help you more for where you are in in this moment in time great stuff so Mm -hmm. you know obviously at the end of the day we are here to make our businesses profitable and enjoyable and the number one challenge that a lot of um speakers or entrepreneurs uh, actually face is just really filling you know, their pipeline with leads or, you know, filling their events uh, with, um, you know, qualified leads. So, you know, there's, there's nothing worse than months and months of planning and, you know, putting out money, renting out rooms, hiring mm-hmm. the help, and then nobody shows up to your event except your mother. So, you know, there's people, <laughs> there's people like uh, George that are there to help you out, um, you know, so that you too can actually... Um, you know, pass on your message and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Josh, is there just one last thing that you have, you know, that you can advise those DIYers that are trying to do it by themselves and they're laboring, um, you know, trying to fill rooms by themselves? Yeah, good question. Um, God, there's a lot of ways that I could I could take that. Um, but the, the reality is like if, you, uh, if you're really green and you're starting fresh and you're looking for that line in the sand to go off of, um, yeah, there's a few key areas starters. Um, I would, I would really make sure that you know who your target audience is and that comes down to who your ideal client is. If you intimately understand who that is, then you start to understand where they are, how you get to them and how you can proposition them to come to your events. Um, 
then once you know that, you obviously uh, have to get a structure together of how you want to run your events, uh, you know, what you want to share with them, obviously, in the way that's the most compelling, and then have a, an ascension model behind those. There's no point, say, putting on a, a half-day event where you get 50 people to come along to hear your story, learn about your business, and see your um, you know, what you're doing professionally if you haven't got a well-structured ascension model behind that. You, you, you know, if, if, you're, if you're running events for 50 people, 100 people, even 10, and the goal is just to sell a book for $15 or something like that, the chances are that your expenses are going to be a lot higher than um, what you're going to make off of selling a book. Um, so make sure that you've got a good product suite behind your events. Have a, a reason why you know, you're doing it in a way that's going to financially sustain you um, longer term. And then beyond that point, you obviously have to get your marketing done. You have to fill your events. And the best advice that I could give someone in, in the position where they're just building up is to leverage as many promotional partners as you can. You know, we all have a business network. And if you don't, then that's probably where you should start. Get out networking, find out who also serve your ideal customers or clients, um, but where there's no competitive overlap and say, look, this is what I'm doing. I can add value to your people here and potentially vice versa. Would you help me promote um, for this event? I can, I can give you free tickets to give to your clients or something like that. Um, and, and just work to create good win-wins, create good deals that uh, incentivize people to help you uh, with your promotional efforts. And then, uh, and then essentially hustle as hard as you can to build on those relationships, leverage the people you have around you, um, send emails, do SMS marketing, put stuff on social media, get other people to put stuff on social media. The beginning is really about hustling as hard as you can, and as big a buzzword as I think that is um, in the entrepreneurial world at the moment. Um, it's, it's true. Like events are about hustle, especially when you're, somewhat new to the game and you can't rely on um you know cold traffic advertising which you know is is aggressive to scale and ultimately it, there's a, an investment in the front end which if you if you play the game right it it pays for itself well and truly many times over um on the back end um but you know there's a process you have to go through to get to that point where you know you can start taking um you know bigger not chances but um uh, playing the game at that, that sort of level. Uh, so that would be sort of my low hanging fruit of, of, uh, of recommendations. Understandable. Well, George, thank you so much, my man, for taking your time and, you know, you know, giving us all this value and your expertise in this field. And if you're just watching this uh, show, this is right about the time you would want to subscribe to this channel because we will be dropping down, um, you know, so much value from these experts that are in their fields, helping you to have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And if you've been watching this show and you're thinking to yourself, um, maybe I'm not at that stage yet. I just want to tell you something, your life story and your life experience of greater importance and market value than you could ever possibly think of. So you could, um, you know, host an event, tell people what you've been through and let them learn from you and your mistakes. And that too, um, you know, can actually lead you to having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You see, every one of us, um, like me and George here, we're here to make a difference. So the best way to actually do this is to package your knowledge, um, you know, into um, your knowledge and some of your advice and your experience into any topic that you could speak about or run an event around so that, you know, people can learn from you and you can generate leads and grow your business um, while helping other people succeed. Now, Josh, thank you so much for your time, your expertise and your knowledge around events. And I hope um, that people will be able to contact you so that they too can learn how to fill events. Cool. No worries, man. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Yes.